Firstly, start by placing a 7x4 foundation. And switch these all to block. Now go to the back and place a foundation in the middle and then place two foundations either side and switch these to block. Now go to the right side, place three stone triangle foundations like this and do the same on the other side. Now, come down to the bottom here, place three foundations like that, miss a foundation, place another three, go to these left triangle foundations, place a fence foundation on the corners, you might get some like that, so make sure you get the angle right. Move along and place one here. Move along again. Come to the center of these triangle foundations. Place another one. Move along. Place one here. On this corner. And do this on the opposite side. Now that you've done that, place a fence foundation here in the center, go to the end and place another one. Just like that. Now we're going to place the stone pillars and the first one is going to be like that, making sure that it's facing forward and build this up four. The next one is going to be here, making sure that this is facing forward. Build this up four, move along, build this up four, and then here, build this up four. And now, we're going to place one on the corner here, and this is going to go up two. Move along, we're going to build this, two. And then on these triangle foundations here, we're going to build this up two. Making sure that the pillars are facing towards you. We're going to place a pillar here, too high, and also here, too high, now here, too high, also on this part here, come to the middle, place a pillar too high here, another two, and another two, and it should look like this, and once you've done that, just repeat this on the opposite side. Now we're going to be placing the wooden pillars, so if you come to the left side of the build here, come to this corner and place two pillars high, move along, place two pillars high, come to this triangle foundations here, place two pillars high, now place two pillars high here, another two pillars high, and then finally this pillar here, place two pillars high, and then do this on the opposite side. Now, come to the back portion here, and place one pillar high on each of these stone pillars. Now go back to the front of the build. And this is where we're going to be placing the doorway. So what you want to do is get your door frame, and make sure that you've got the door frame, and place it on the higher snap point, which is the foundation. To do that, you can press Q, RB, or R1 to cycle the snap points. So make sure that's on the highest snap point, place that down, get another door frame, place that just behind on the lower snap point, and then place a window frame, 
And then behind the window frame, place a greenhouse wall. Now place a door. Move up and place another door frame on the highest snap point. And then place another window frame. And then place a door in here. And then place a greenhouse window like that. Now we're going to be doing the bay windows. So to do that you want to get stone door frames. And you want to make sure that these are on the foundation. And they're not on the fence foundation. And the foundation is the highest snap point. So make sure if you're getting it stuck, press Q, R, B, or R1 to cycle the snap points. And place it like that. And build this up to the same height as the pillars. And do this all the way around. Once you've done that, come back to this portion here. Get a thatch wall. And place this on the lower snap point, which is the fence foundation. Like that. And do this all the way around. Now, get your greenhouse walls. Place that on the top of the thatch wall. And as you can see, there's a little gap. Make sure they're in a gap. So press Q, R, B, or R1. Cycle the snap points and place it like that. And do this all the way around. Now what you want to do is replace the thatch wall. So get your greenhouse wall. And press Q, R1 or RB. Until it goes like that. And replace it. Be careful though because you can replace other things by accident. Like that. And like that. And then build this up making sure you don't replace anything. And now repeat this on this bay window area. Now we're going to be placing the stone walls and what you want to do is just build the stone walls up to the same level as the stone pillars. Now we're going to be placing the wooden walls so if you come to the back of the build Come to this center point here and press E, triangle or Y to flip the walls and then place them down. Like that. Once you've done that, come to this side here. Build this too high and flip the walls. And then this point, build this one. And then this point too. Remembering to flip the walls. And then come back to this point and place windows. Place the frames like this. And then once you've done that, just repeat this on the opposite side. And it should look like that. Now we'll go inside. And go to the left bay area over here. And what you want to do is get stone double door frames and wooden double door frames. And you're going to come to this point here. And then you're going to press Q, RB or R1 to cycle the snap points. And it should look like that. And then you should press E, triangle or Y to flip it. And then it should go like that. And build this up too. Matching the stone pillars. Do the same here. And then on top of that, build two high with wooden double door frames. And then place wooden pillars here and here. And then wooden walls here and here. 
and this just makes it so these walls are actually lined up with these walls here and it makes it so it's not going to be wonky and then just repeat this on the opposite side over there Now get wooden slope walls and place them here, 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 like that, and then go to this side and repeat it. Now we're going to be placing the first floor ceilings, so what you want to do is come down to this point here, place a stone ceiling like this, switch to stone walls. Make sure that the stone walls are facing inwards and place stone wall here, here, here and here and then also here, here, here and here. Once you've done that, switch to stone stairs and just bring these down. And then what you want to do is just fill the rest of this area in with stone ceilings. Now go down the stairs and then place stone double door frames just at the bottom of the stairs like that and then go out the front door and place stone triangle foundations like this and then you want stone stairs and place them like that. Now we're going to section off the room so if you come inside and you can see this foundation here place a wall like this and then a wall on top and then the same on this side. And then a double door frame here. And then the same on this side. And then if you come into this part here, place a double door frame here and a double door frame here. And then two walls and do the same on the opposite side. And then if you come into this part here, place a double door frame here. And then you want to place a wall here. And this can be some sort of closet or whatever you want or you could put your generator in here and then here this is optional but you can place a door and this can be a back door if you want it to be but that's up to you and then place a stone window frame above and then a glass greenhouse window and then come outside and place stone stairs like that now go to the front and if you go upstairs and go to this point right here and place a wooden ceiling like that and then you want to just fill in this whole area Now we're going to do the parts above the bay areas, so what you want to do is grab wood ceilings, place them down like this, and then you want slope walls, and you want to place them like this, and then here you want to flip the slope walls, which is E, Y, or triangle, like that, and then you want to place the sloped roofs on top, like this, you want to make sure that they're farthest way out, like this so they've got a slight overhang and do the same here so like this and then you want to flip these Y triangle or E and then you want to get your roofs and place them like this and then once you've done that you just want to repeat this on the opposite sides And 
and it should look like that. Now we'll land on the roof. And what you want to do is get some wooden walls. And you want to place them like this all the way across. And then repeat this on the other side. And then come to this point in here. Place them here. And then do this on the opposite side. Now get sloped walls. Place them here and here. And the same on the opposite side. And then switch to your greenhouse sloped roofs. And your wooden slope roofs. And what you want to do is come from this side here. The right side. Place it like that. And bring this all the way across. Now we'll come to this point. Come back to the right side. Place a slope wooden roof here. Making sure that it's in line with that one. And then place a greenhouse one. And another greenhouse one, then a wooden, two greenhouse ones, and then a wooden one, and repeat this on the opposite side. Now go to the front, and if you want to place the balcony, come here. The triangle ceilings, place them here, here, and here, and then just get your railings and place them like this. But if you don't want the balcony, then all you have to do is just replace this with a wall, and you're all good. Go to the first floor, and we're going to do the layout for the first floor rooms. So if you want to come to this point, and you want to place a pillar here, and a pillar here. And then a pillar here and a pillar here. And then you want to place a wall here and here and close this. Like that. And then if you come to this point, what you want to do is you want to place a wall like this. And then right here you want a door. And then another wall. And then here, there's a wall like that. And do this on the opposite side. Now if you come in this point. You're going to have to choose which area. You want to cordon off. Or you could just leave it open like this. But I'm just going to separate it into two rooms. So if I go here. Then what you want to do. List walls like this. Make them face the same way. And then this will cordon off this room. And then that other side will have access to the balcony. But that's the rooms cordoned off. And then also, if you want to use the attic or the loft, you can just go to like this point here or this point here. And you can place a hatch like that. And then you just want to place ladders. that and then you can climb up and you've just got a little area here pretty nice or if you don't want to separate the rooms you could just delete this whole area here all these ceilings and you'll just have a skylight that goes down to the first floor but that's up to you if you want to paint this then for the walls i used white for region one and six and then brown regions five and for the pillars and the roof i just painted them brown on all regions hi everyone comment down below what you thought about this video liking and subscribing with notifications on really helps me out i'll leave off with a showcase of the interior thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one